Good evening folks, uh, coming at you with another video. Uh, this one is a VR to Waves of Java, or I should say for Waves of Java, um, in celebration of his 100 subs. Um, I'm currently smoking a My Father Number no. 1 Robusto. Um, only just started it and it's the first one I've had so I've got no thoughts on it so far um, but this isn't a cigar review or anything like that um, I want to wish you uh, many congratulations uh, on your subs um, you've you know uh, y your videos are brilliant uh, the idea behind them is brilliant the thought that you put into them is fantastic um, I've really enjoyed meeting Sophie in the last couple of videos um, she, you, she does you proud and I'm sure you do her proud as well um, for the giveaway um, we were asked to choose one of three places uh, or three types of places that we would like to live for a while or spend some time for a while um, the first of those was beside a lake uh, perhaps with mountains at the side you know around it uh, a little bit of woodland but a, a hut on a lakeside you could go fishing go swimming go water skiing whatever you wanted to do on that lake um, all of these places you you know, all of your needs would be taken care of, the food available, that kind of thing. Uh, the second place was a woodland or forest area with a river running through it. And the third place was uh, coastland, um, you know, on the, on the ocean side or um, that kind of thing. Um, I actually found it quite a difficult choice, to be honest. Um, I used to live on the south coast of England. and I love being able to take a walk down the beach you know on an evening go for a stroll uh, maybe watching a storm rolling in on the horizon listening to the sound of the surf as the tide ebbs and flows um, you know listening to the seagulls flying overhead it's the seas and oceans are such a powerful place and if you ever want to see nature at her rawest go to a coastline during a storm um, you will not be disappointed you will be 100% invigorated And it makes you appreciate life a hell of a lot more, <laughs> even if only for a while. Um, woodland, you know, the second area, woodland with a, or forest with, with a river running through it. Um, as I've mentioned in one, many of my videos before, I love being in the woods. Um, I'm not much of an outdoors person 
um, I've got about enough, you know, survival skills of a flea, basically. Um, although they'd probably survive better than I would in the woods. But I still feel at peace in the woods. Um, you know, I, I love the sounds, the smells that you get in the woodland, you know, damp earth. If you're lucky enough, you get the musky smell of a deer in the distance or that's, you know, just passed through the area. You can, you know, sit underneath a tree and listen to the wind talking to you through the tree branches. Um, and if you sit quietly long enough, the animals in the forest begin to accept you. And instead of being alarmed at your presence, they ignore you. And you get to see so many beautiful things um, if you just take the time to sit and listen. Um, being in a forest is probably where I would choose to be out of three options. Um, the first option of being on a lakeside um, with mountains around you. A beautiful, beautiful location. Um, you know, I, that brings, the description brings visions of some of the lochs in the highlands of Scotland. Um, beautiful, rugged, isolated terrain with huge locks. Um, you know, it, it stunning, beautiful landscapes. Um, and I could, you know, I could feel at home there as well. Uh, I'm not one for f much for fishing. Um, I was put off that by my grandparents, but on my dad's side, but that's a, a total other story. Um, but yeah, I, I think all three places have such an appeal that I would probably be happy in all three, but I would be happiest surrounded by trees. Um, you know, a little clearing in the woods or forest uh, with a, a cabin there, a bit of land for me to grow, you know, able to grow my own vegetables and maybe a little bit of land, extra land to keep, you know, uh, sheep or pigs, or, well, probably pigs. Uh, sheep are a bit too, uh, a bit too argumentative. But, you know, pigs and chickens and um, just live off that bit of land. I would love it. Um, I really, really would. And if I ever win the lottery, that's definitely what I'm going to do. Um, the second question that was asked is what other hobbies or interests we have? outside of smoking uh, so outside of cigars tobacco pipes um, I've got a few hobbies um, I love photography I don't do it anywhere near as much as I would like um, and I feel that the fact that I don't do it anywhere near as much as I would like um, actually is having a detrimental effect on my photography skills. I'm not progressing anywhere near as much as I should do. But since I'm not taking photographs every day or on a very regular basis, I'm not going to improve. Um, I need to get off my backside and do that. Um, 
a couple of other hobbies I've I've covered one of them in a video previously um, is latch hook rug making um, I really enjoy how relaxing that can be on a you know on an autumn or winter evening sitting at home with you know music like this playing in the background here um, if you can hear it um, just relaxing and, and make it, creating a rug and when you set your mind to it it, it pr you progress very quickly with them because it's a it's simple to do it's a very simple process and once you get into the rhythm of it you can you can build up quite a bit of speed with it Another hobby along similar lines is um, tapestry making. Um, again, same sort of situation, you know, an autumn or winter evening. It doesn't have to be, I mean, you can, obviously you can do it all year round, but I tend to do more of that kind of thing in the autumn and winter months for whatever reason. Um, again it's nice and relaxing you get some beautiful designs or if you that way inclined and you've got the skill you can make your own designs um, so those are probably my main hobbies um, other things that I do I play a fair few uh, computer games um, mostly simulators so I have a a couple of truck simulators that I enjoy uh, just literally driving around Europe or America uh, making deliveries and you know building up some money uh, and wishing it was reality I think my most played game though is uh, Tom Clancy's The Division um, it's a multiplayer online game, although you you know you can play it solo. You don't need to play with anybody else. Um, and the basic premise of that is that you know uh, somebody genetically engineered a virus that wipes out uh, a large percentage of the population of New York and you are a member of the division who are uh, assigned the job of essentially restoring law and order to the city um, it's actually it uses directive 51 i believe it is which was a a US government directive which essentially it deals with you know what would happen in a pandemic situation like that where there's a total loss of control of society um, and you know it essentially it invokes martial law and yeah um, it's a very very immersive game um, which you know, I, what I like about it is the fact that it, a lot of the end of the world or that kind of film, uh, that kind of game, sorry, but films as well, it involves an alien invasion and you end up you end up killing aliens or monsters. You know, oh yeah, you know, the the population of the world's been wiped out and turned into monsters and you've got to kill them um, this game doesn't do that you're basically uh, under attack by different factions yes but humans uh, so you have the escapees from Rikers Island uh, or well I say Rikers Island I'm, I'm assuming it's an island uh, but from the prison you have a group called the cleaners who are um, 
essentially believe the only way to get rid of the virus is basically burn it out, including anybody that has it or might have it. So they go around with huge petrol cans on the backs and flamethrowers. Um, you've got the general thugs and rioters that, you know, looters and that kind of thing. And then you've got the last man battalion who essentially were sent in to clean things up. Um, but when the government pulled the plug, they were left behind. And as a result, they basically, you know, fighting for their own survival, but deciding that their way is the only way. So they're trying to solve the problem, but fighting against you. It's well worth checking out if you're into third person shooters, or, well, I suppose it's third person. Um, you know, give it a look, it's a good game. Um, but yeah, they're my main hobbies. Um, so I'll leave it there, but congratulations again on the subs. Um, you know, it won't be long till you're way, way higher than you already are with your subs. Um, because your videos are always entertaining. Um, and I, I, I love your presenting style, you know, I, I really do. Um, there hasn't been a single video of yours that I haven't enjoyed watching. Um, but I'll leave it there and I'll catch you all in my next video. Right, bye for now.